Hey, Hello. Mike. Go ahead. Hello from World of Disney, Downtown Disney District, Disneyland Resort, Anaheim, California. It's Halloween time. Uh, there's lots of Halloween merchandise all around me right now in World of Disney. Certainly is. Who are, who are you? What's that? Who are you? Oh, it's me. It's me, Mike. Mike Celestino from LaughingPlace.com. Welcome. And I am Dewey Mosley, also from LaughingPlace.com, many miles away, but through the magic of technology, we will talk and walk with Mike at the Disneyland Resort today. Disneyland Resort, happy Halloween 2020. The parks are not open. But is World that? of Disney is, and Downtown Disney is. I love that. Was that on any merchandise? I like that logo a lot. Which one? The Disneyland uh, Gobo thing on the ground. I love that. Yeah, yeah it's cool looking. Is that on any merchandise? Hmm, good question. I have not seen anything with this particular... That's a bummer. We'll look around. Uh, all sorts of apparel and decor and these uh, very nice uh, lollipop ears. Very lickable. Poison apple decor, all sorts of costumes and stuff. And what else? You got the witch ears. Oh, look at this. This is what you're asking about, Doobie. Here's the... Oh, there it is. Yeah, so this is like a, a kid's kids size spirit jersey with the Disneyland Resort Halloween iconography on this. Mickey and Minnie in their Halloween costumes. Plushes. Oh, and no, then this is all Haunted Mansion stuff. What's that? I just want to let people know we're live. We are um, actually doing this live so we can see your comments. So if you have any questions, any comments, anything you'd like Mike to do, put it in the comments and we will do our best to accommodate you. Yes, indeed. Here's a, I really like this four puzzle set for the Haunted Mansion stretching room portraits, four individual puzzles. That's pretty cool. That is very nice. Do you think it comes with all the pieces mixed together? That's a good question. Are they four individual bags or you got to figure out which belongs to which? That's a good question. Maybe we'll pick that up one day and, and find out. Lots of, lots of Haunted Mansion stuff since it is uh, Halloween time. They've got new ornaments. That is cool. Doom buggy with the hitchhiking ghost, Madame mm -hmm. Leota there. This is like a ornament set with some of the characters from around the Haunted Mansion. Hitchhiking Ghost photo clip frame and this larger photo frame for the Haunted Mansion. Then you got the Haunted yeah. Mansion Crocs. You have those, right, Mike? I don't have them, no. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a, a whole section of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, which is also tied into the season jack skellington and his buddies here's more haunted mansion stuff the singing busts as the ears and little backpacks lounge fly haunted mansion backpack this is all more haunted mansion stuff over here bust the move don't like it me neither. <laughs> Me neither. I don't like that one. I did pick up this shirt last time I was here. Oh, nice. That that would look very nice on you, Mike. Thanks. How much is that one? Like sixty-five? Let's find out. It is. Uh, you're about right. It's sixty dollars. Fifty-nine oh, ninety-nine. Bargain. I really like that a lot. That would be good for. Uh, a non-costume type Halloween party. Can we see that before you leave? Just want to make sure we do see that spirit jersey because we checked and we think it's pretty new. Okay, yes, yeah, right here actually. This is the Haunted Mansion wallpaper spirit jersey. It says Haunted Mansion on the chest there, and then it's got on the back 
big Disneyland resort, and it's just got that wallpaper print going all around it. That's nice. pretty. One at Walt Disney World also. It's on Shop Disney right now, but it's um, out of stock. So okay, well, it's in stock here. They got plenty of them. Um, what else do we want to see? There's just this is all Halloween stuff, but we can go left or right or whatever direction. Is the Christmas, is the Christmas merchandise out at all yet? No, no Christmas yet. It's taking them so long. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't think I saw this shirt before. This is a nice Mickey Hawaiian shirt. Mickey on vacation. I haven't seen that before. That's a good one. That also 60? Yep, same price. 60, 59.99. They got that Hey Hey shirt. These are cool over here. There's a Mad Tea Party. I think we covered this last time. Yeah, I remember those. I did grab these, uh, this Star Wars shirt I really like. <laughs> I wore that for Force Fest over the weekend. Mike, how many individual pieces of Star Wars themed merchandise would you say you own? That I own? <laughs> um, a lot, but I know people who have more, so. Okay, so there's room to grow. Yeah. I don't have room to grow in my apartment, but there certainly are more pieces of merchandise than the ones that I own. And we're coming up to the uh, east side of World of Disney here. And this is where they've got the 65th anniversary merchandise. Oh, yeah. Now, they don't have the, the Funkos and all that cool stuff that came out yesterday. That's not here, right? I looked for the Funkos because uh, Tony had asked me to pick me up, pick him up the uh, Mr. Toad one. But I haven't seen them anywhere, even like oh. Underground Gallery or anything. Those were amazing. amazing. Yeah, here's that water bottle with the fake map on it. Love that. Yeah, what is the Space Mountain stuff? What is that? These are just like decorative like bowls. I think theoretically this comes off of here. There we go. Jeez, you, broke it. And you could keep, <laughs> keep candies, hard candies, or something inside there. And there's this more, This is like a. This one's like a ceramic mug. And then you got a cool like windbreaker jacket. Oh, I do like that one. Um, let me put. I think that is also fifty nine ninety five. Fifty nine ninety nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, where's the tag on this one? Mm. We, should, we should play. Guess it in the comments, and if you get it right, we'll buy it for you. That it's reliant on me being able to find the price tag, which I don't know if I can on this one. So uh, no, we're not doing. Oh, wait, that. here it is. Here it is. This one's actually cheaper. It's forty nine ninety nine. Wow. Okay. And then this is all more uh, just generic Disneyland resort st stuff. Not that it's generic, but that it's you know <laughs> covering the, the resort as a whole rather than a single part of it. Chachkis. More sixty fifth stuff over here. Kind of a, a zip up. Not a hoodie, but a, just like another. Tony, Tony Betty thought we were playing Price is Right rules, but we're not. So, <laughs> All right. And this is the Jungle Cruise stuff, but they still don't have that sweet hat that they have down at Walt Disney World that I really want to get. Which is sad. It's a really nice hat. Well, I like that backpack a little bit down there. That's kind of neat. Jungle Cruise Skipper. That would go well with a hat. It would. It would. And you can't, like... I was going to ask Jeremiah to maybe grab that hat for me down at Magic Kingdom, but you can't really ship a hat like that. It's going to get crushed. Maybe if you had a hat box. A hat box, yeah. All right, let's head down toward the other side here before we leave. World of nice, and, nice and empty inside. So This is interesting. This is like tie-dyed uh, rainbow... Everyone is unique, I'm guessing. What's that? I'm guessing everyone is unique. Oh, yeah. Huh. I didn't think about that, but yeah. I hadn't seen those before. And these are the masks we got. Like I was saying before we started the broadcast, I managed to find 
the Haunted Mansion face mask. They only had one copy, one in the whole resort that I, I've seen today. And I picked it up because previously it was only available in the kids' size here. And then today I found one in the adult side. So I felt very lucky about that. It's your lucky day. <laughs> all right. We're making our way back through the Halloween section. Oh, by the way, all these like light up necklaces and stuff are on sale. I think they're $10 instead of $16 because they're, there's nobody going in the park. So I think they want to get rid of all this stuff. <laughs> Look, see, $10. Wow. They, they priced that. Fifteen seventy eight. Yeah, usually it would go down after Halloween, but like you also, said, also uh, over at Pin Traders, that all the all the Disneyland Resort twenty twenty pins are buy one get one free. I posted that on the Laughing Place Twitter earlier as well. That's pretty significant. Yeah, there's nobody here. There's nobody going in the parks. It's just downtown Disney that's open. So they probably made more pins than they can get rid of, sadly. So the, the governor had a press conference today where I guess his, the extent of his comment about the state of Disneyland and other theme parks is we are talking about it. Okay. <laughs> that wanted a, an update. Ear hats. Is there a section that has all the ear hats you can get a look yeah, at? Right over here. Okay. There's Someone's a asking dogs, for dogs are wearing ear hats in here, too. Here's a bunch of ears, um, green and red. Business has expanded. Here's the ear hats. Lightning McQueen. Green alien. Stitch. It's my birthday and uh, uh, groom wedding did you did you wear mickey ear hats at your wedding i did not no i had to promise that we weren't going to have a themed wedding but we did have some <laughs> stuff here and there you didn't <laughs> arrive on the millennium falcon and <laughs> we did have like pe people sitting in the aisles had had little like bb-8 and tie fighter bubble blowers that they blew they like turned on as we were walking down the aisle and stuff so if that's the worst thing that's okay <laughs> more halloween pumpkins and stuff i love that light up candy holder it's been around forever i'm such yeah. a fan <laughs> and then we're in the mugs mugs section and home section and pins and such over here All right, what do you think? Are we ready to go outside? Yeah, let's venture out into the great outdoors and see what's out there. Okay. Because we can't come back in after we go out. I know, it's, it's weird. They have a bathroom inside, right? It's not like you're stuck in here, if, even if you have to oh, go potty. I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going out. Yeah, let's not find out. Don't take us to the potty. Bye. All right, here's uh, downtown Disney District. It's uh, when I got here this morning, it's like 11:45 or so, and it wasn't crowded at all. But it slowly started getting more and more crowded as the afternoon has gone by. I know I saw a tweet on the Disneyland Twitter feed where they said that they had shut down the parking lot for a little while. I don't know if it's re reopened since then, but. No, they're trying to keep it down to a certain amount of people. Yeah, this is a busy place. There's Starbucks on the left, Naples on the right. It's funny, Tony. It, it's weird because we Jeremiah does a lot of these. Uh, Walk and talks from Walt well, Disney World parks where it's so quiet, and this this is buzzing. This almost feels like being in a theme park a little bit. I know. Well, that's the difference, really, between Walt Disney World and Disneyland as far as like reopening goes. Because 
as soon as the parks reopen here, they're going to be full. You know, it's it's a local resort, unlike Walt Disney World, where it's mostly tourist based. Right here, it's so many locals that have annual passes and want to come just to hang out at the parks to kill time and stuff. And I'm I'm guilty of that too. I, I come here <laughs> frequently, you know, both for work and for my own enjoyment. But yeah, it makes it more difficult because it is going to be crowded. The parks are going to be crowded when they reopen, and that's going to be tough to avoid. To the extent Disney allows them to be, I'm sure they will cap attendance. Yeah, yeah, that as well. You know, I heard something like 25% of the capacity will be right. in effect. And we don't, Disney never goes to their actual capacity, so we don't know what that actually works out to in numbers. Right. But. Rebecca the Fifth, hi. Just putting you up to say hi. Fantastic music. Yeah. So I signed up for the virtual queue for Disney Home Store, which is right around the corner here, not knowing that the wait was going to be several hours. <gasps> <laughs> but yeah, they, I don't, I still don't think they've texted me yet, but World of Disney was only like an hour and 40, and they said that Disney Home Store was like two and a half hours wait. That is, wow. I'm going to see any of the outdoor dinings if they're busy. Is that is there dining right there at um, the Uber Bar? Yeah. Yeah, you can see people eating here. I think the Katal restaurant is serving people here at Uva Bar. I mean, they're they're related anyway, right? Katal and Uva Bar. Is that a poodle up there? Wait, go back, go back. I think we just saw a poodle. We saw a poodle? Yes, go forward a little bit and then veer to the left just a little. Where'd it go? I don't see a poodle. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you to run like Jeremiah yesterday, but there's a okay. poodle. Did anyone I else see, see it? it I missed it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Sprinkles Donuts, not Donuts, Sprinkles Cupcakes is not open. Oh, that's interesting. I thought that they had been open, but maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe the poodle got there and ate them all. Apparently closed. Uh, the Void, the VR experience the void is not open either that is but, not reopened at all right yeah they never reopened here at the void which is sad because i enjoy the void but um that's yeah. that's one of the big casualties here i don't i'm not sure if that'll ever come back uh, I, I hope that they do i hope so i know it's, i'm sure they're not allowed to open now being a themed indoor experience but right okay. but those are two of the very few things that are not open here at downtown Disney District. Here's the Disney Home Store that I was talking about. People waiting after they've received their text, they come back and check in here, and then they wait to go into the store. And they have a bunch of Disney Halloween stuff in there as well. But I don't spend a lot of time in the Disney Home Store. I'm not sure what's in there that you can't get at World of Disney. I know one time I got those Disney afternoon uh, mugs in there, so those were pretty cool. You're a big Div Disney afternoon fan, aren't you? Well, I like DuckTales, you know? That's really Did you cool. grow up on that? Yeah, yeah, I watch that every, every day after school. You'd come, come home and watch DuckTales. That would be the highlight of my day. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the Wonderground Gallery. That have, like, that have like come back time to, or can you just wait to go in this there? This one's just a standby wait. I, I was in there earlier, but they didn't have anything too new going on in there. Yeah, I answered your question, Tony, without even realizing it. Yeah, Wonderground, you can just get in line as of earlier. I don't know if it's the same right now. Uh, that was the same same deal for the Lego store. Last time I was here, Lego store had the virtual queue going, but this this time it was just a standby wait. I feel like you can come here, kind of stand amongst the crowd, listen to the music, and just pretend like you're going to Disneyland and DCA. Hour yeah, that's, and that's why I like going over to the Esplanade between the parks and just kind of like absorbing the atmosphere and the music over there. And it's really quiet. There's not a lot of people around. 
is the Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen. Opened the about, about a week ago, I think it opened, and happy to see people there. Those people sitting upstairs, yeah, they are awesome. Oh yeah, look at that. I love second story views. A little crooked here. Sorry about that. Okay, we can just tilt our head and it's the same. Let's look down on uh, Disneyland Drive. Yes, let's look down on them. Ha ha, you're not here. <laughs> the monorail track over there. And in the Why? far distance, you can see the Mickey and Friends parking structure. Really, really, really quiet. How does parking work at Downtown Disney now? Do you, do you park? Do they still have their own lot, or do you park in Mickey and Friends, or what? Oh no! Everyone parks in the Simba parking lot behind the Paradise Pier Hotel, which is right there. Ah, okay. So the parking lot is like behind the hotel in this direction, and um, and you just walk over to Downtown Disney. You go through the screening. They have the temperature screening, and they have a canine bag check screening where the, the dog will sniff your bag and make sure you don't have anything untoward in, in your bags. And then you go through the... Early, the poodle. What's that? We saw one of those earlier, the poodle. Yeah, the, I'm sure that poodle was helping out. And then you go through the regular security bag check and the metal detector and everything. So it's it's got uh, like a four-tier security system going on right now and safety guidelines and everything. I love that Rebecca the Fifth has fully embraced her laughing place bestowed title. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the pin traders I was talking about before where I got that face mask. That is just a short wait to get in there even? This one, you can see the wait. It goes around by the monorail station. And then they do have pin trading, right? They just use tables for it instead of people? Um... I didn't see any pin trading happening here, actually. I know they're doing it in Florida, but I haven't seen any that happen, happening here yet since the reopening. But maybe I'm wrong. No, no, you could be right. I know they are in Florida, so maybe they aren't doing it here. So this is the end of the line to get into pin traders over here by the monorail. I'm just going to answer it. A quick tech question from someone in the audience who's saying why are there are only six people. We're actually we're live on um, YouTube, Facebook, and Periscope, Twitter, all at the same time. So, Andy, that's why you might see some comments that aren't showing up on your YouTube feed. Yes, yeah, so if you add them all up, it's probably more closer to like a dozen, right? It's more than that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say how many more, but it's more than that. <laughs> Starbucks, Sugar Boo. AMC Rainforest. Oh, and then we're going to talk about, oh, I know what I wanted to do. It almost slipped my mind. But the reason that I came down here today was to do the, um, what is it called? Extra. What is it called? So, anyway, it's, uh, it's over here in the ESPN zone. I'm trying to find the exact name for it. I, I tweeted it out so many times earlier today, and I've forgotten it already. That's how my brain works. I don't know what it's called, but it said it's a former ESPN zone. Yeah, so you had to sign up and get a reservation on the Disneyland website, and it gets attached to your Disneyland.com account. And then you would show up here at the ESPN zone, the former ESPN zone. I love it as ESPN zone. And then um, so they had a bunch of pins for the 65th anniversary of Disneyland. And they had a Sleeping Beauty Castle sipper that I'm gonna show you here in a moment because I need to get it out of my backpack. Let's pause here. I'm gonna put down the gimbal on this trash can. Well, this is a nice view while we wait. The former AMC theater. Okay, so this is the this is the sipper oh, yeah. the castle. It's in like a little snow globe. Can you see that? That is very seeable and very cool. 
Let me get it into better light here. But this is the 65th anniversary Sleeping Beauty Castle Sipper. There's the castle up close. It's got the blue straw there. And then this art is actually the art that's over there on the AMC theater, the former AMC theater in that seating area. They put up these artwork that represents different characters from around the resort. It's Mickey, Minnie, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot. The Hatbox Ghost, Alice, Mr. Toad, BB-8, Woody and Buzz, Dumbo, and back around the Mickey. Here's the back side of the castle. Cool. What are you going to fill it with? Uh, this is probably going to either sit on a shelf and collect some dust or go in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Will I drink out of it ever? Maybe. I don't know. I, I doubt it. Um, but let me show you the pin that I got also. So there's like probably like a dozen pins or more that you can get. And they all each one represents an attraction that was open on opening day of Disneyland. And they each have a different character. And I chose the Disneyland Railroad. It had Donald because Donald's my favorite of the Mickey and Friends characters. Um, but this is what the pins look like. And I also tweeted out a picture of the sheet, the order sheet that has all the different pins pictured on there. But you can look at the images. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to show that right this very second. Okay. If I don't show the wrong window. And they were $17.99 each. So I only got one of them. But it is cool. I like this one a lot. You can see what that looks like here. Oh, that's very small. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. That's the pin Mike bought. And then there's the order sheet. Yeah. Is available. So the, the train in my pin actually moves back and forth a, a little bit. It like pulls into the station. <laughs> ah, Mike only, Mike only, Mike only. There we go. Yeah, you can see the the train can move slightly back and forth. Are they all animated? I, I would think so. I, I didn't get to play around with any of the other ones, but... <laughs> Much to your disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. And yeah, that was the, the chief reason that I came down here today. We were half expecting there to be more stuff available in there, but it was really just the pins and the sipper. And then the Halloween bag, which is also available at uh, World of Disney and a couple of the other shops around. <laughs> Rebecca the Fifth is going to fill the sipper with her tears. That is very sad. <laughs> <laughs> her darling sweetheart being the Sleeping Beauty castle. Is that what she means? I presume so, but I don't, I don't want to get too personal, so I'll just read the first one. <laughs> well, let me show you the, the entrance over here where people were. See, they have like, the doors are open here. They got the enter here sign. This is where I checked in. Hello. Buy the merch there from friendly cast members checking people in. And then you can see the counter here where they have all the bags of the pins and the sippers. And you just go in and you go to your go to your counter that they assign you and uh, choose which items you want and check out. It's as simple as that. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So yeah, they're finding uh, they're finding uses for the CSPN zone even during the pandemic. I have a great use for it: a sports bar and restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday again. I know this, they still have all the the iconography from the Mickey Instagram museum thing that they did. Oh, wow. What was that called? Man, I, I can't remember. <laughs> I came and did that. I covered that for Laughing Place. What was it? Did, you, did, did your Q rating go up or whatever that stuff is called? Did you get more clout? Well, I don't know. Everything went out on Laughing Place Twitter, so... Here's a little photo op. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Earl of Sandwich. And there's the Disneyland Hotel, which is not open. Earl of Sandwich, that's right. You've never eaten there, but it's really good. I'm sure it is. I wish I could. 
Here's that artwork I was talking about that's around the base of that Sleeping Beauty Castle sipper. It's also here. Mickey. Or there's Minnie and Dumbo and Buzz and Woody. Hey, our people are smart. It was called Pop Up Disney. I looked it up. That is actually correct. Pop Up, Pop up Mickey, I think. Pop Up Mickey. Right? I think it was Pop Up Disney. Pop Up Disney? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, even more smartness. Pop up Disney, a Mickey celebration. How about there we that? Go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's my wife. <laughs> well, that was your wife that typed that? Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Watch be nice. Sugar Boo. What does Sugar Boo sell? What is the point of a Sugar Boo? Well, let's check it out. We've never gone in there in a live stream. Can we come in? Okay, thanks. This is Sugar That's the commission. This is like a lot of like home decor. These have little phrases on them, little plaques that you could put up around your house. Yeah. It's like inspirational phrases and stuff. Life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale. Aw, words to live by. Daydream believer. That's the monkeys. <laughs> yeah. A weak, an awake heart is like a sky that pours light. Okay. Um, and then there's uh, little plants. I wonder how it got its name. These are the good old days. Shh. <laughs> Uh, some stationary stuff. It's just a lot of like kitschy decor kind of thing. Yeah, probably not your kind of thing. No, it's not pop culture related enough for for me to put <laughs> in my home. No IP whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have to answer my own question. Sugar Boo comes from the nicknames for the founder's children, Jackie and Sophie. The main inspirations for Sugar, Sugar Boo is they always make the products that remind us of the ones we love. There you go. I wish we could go in the Lego store during one of these streams, but it, it would be such a long wait. It's crazy that all these stores have a wait to get in. I just yeah. I didn't picture that. Lego had a lot of new stuff today. They had that new Mandalorian set. They had the new AT-AT from the Empire Strikes Back. Speaking had, of Mandalorian, uh, I, I, know, I know Star Wars talk isn't till tomorrow, I think, but do you have any thoughts on the Mandalorian stuff that was said today? Just the fact that it's coming, you excited? Well, I was very surprised that they released the release date without releasing the trailer. Like, when is that trailer going to hit? I know everybody's been asking that, but... I thought for sure it would be out by now. Yeah, agreed. But I'm excited that it's less than two months away. I mean, I'm, I'll am i be there. I'm waiting till midnight that night to watch that episode. So I'm just going to show real quick since you, I know you tweeted out some, or we tweeted out some Lego stuff. Um, yeah, so that's the... You. Resistance ITS shuttle, which is the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Lego set. And then the Mandalorian Razor Crest, which uh, comes with the child in Lego minifigure oh, form. There he is. For the first time. Good job. And it's got also the Mandalorian and Grief Karga and IG-11. A lot of cool minifigs there. Who's the last one on the right there? I can't tell. Oh, sorry. Um... That looks like some kind of a stormtrooper, scout trooper. Is that what it says? Okay. Yeah, it's just too small for me to tell what that is in the picture. So I've, I've actually got it at home. It arrived via the mail as I was driving down here today. So when I get home, I'll check that out. I'll probably do a, a build video and a review of that Lego set on the Laughing Place YouTube channel right here. Good, because someone named Benji Breitbart said, are you going to do a video build of the Razor Crest? So <laughs> there you go. I'm on the same page there. And then that one's the 40th anniversary 
at at or at at from the Empire Strikes Back, and that's pretty exciting. Um, it's got a lot of cool mini figures, and it's just a really nice representation of that famous vehicle from Empire. Cool. Glad you're able to put your Star Wars knowledge to use. You're like doing double duty. I think you get <laughs> when you talk Star Wars while walking I through. Rem- I feel like I can't remember anything else. Like my my brain is so full of Star Wars knowledge that I can't remember the names of anything else that's not Star Wars related. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to have time. I would love to get over to the Esplanades if we can yeah. and just look inside. That's where I'm heading. So we're going okay. to end over there. Black Tap, Burgers and Shakes. Mm, I want to shake. Hello. And then Ballast Point. They both have outdoor seating. And then you got Wetzel's Pretzels is open over here. Even a tiny way to get there. What's that? It's got a tiny way to get inside Wetzel's. Yeah, not too bad. And then uh, Salt and Straw. I feel like this used to have the longest lines for like the first year it was open. And now there's no wait. I don't understand. Oh, how hot is it? What's the weather like today? It's not too bad. It was much hotter like a week and a half ago. We had a terrible heat wave. And I think I heard it was coming back this weekend as well but right now it's bearable <laughs> i'm not sure the exact number of the temperature but it's not too terrible back to naples looking forward to your lego build that should be awesome. yeah i'm really excited about that set i remember when the mandalorian first started they released one set to go with that show, and it was the ATST, which is just in one episode. But I think they didn't want to spoil too much about it by releasing the Legos before the show came out, you know. So it didn't have the child, it didn't have the main ship, obviously. And I kept thinking, like, they got to make the Razor Crest the main ship from the Mandalorian. So finally, that came out yesterday which is pretty cool. Very cool. Are you more excited for the child or the Razor Crest when they first appeared on the show? I mean, you can't deny the cultural impact that the child, a.k.a. Baby Yoda, had because that really got people talking about Star Wars again in a positive way. Like, it was... Like, did you, did you hear anybody say anything negative about that character? Like... Everybody just embraced him instantly. And it was a great move on the creative team's part and Disney's part to keep him a secret until that first episode aired. And I remember when I got home, I I went to a a screening in a movie theater of all places of (laughs) the Lady and the Tramp remake, the live action remake that night. And as I got home, the CEO of Laughing Place texted me and was like, guess what? Disney Plus is live right now. And it was the day before it was supposed to launch. So I turned it on and I was watching The Mandalorian like hours before we were supposed to have it. (laughs) And then after it was over, he asked me if there was like a twist or anything at the end of the episode. And I said yes, because... I didn't see it coming that there was going to be a little baby of Yoda species. And that was going to be that the, the target of all the, the bounty hunters and everything. So uh, I wasn't the only one who was pleasantly surprised by that because, as you know, it became like a cultural phenomenon from that point on. And even to this day, people are still talking. You know, when they made the announcement this morning about the date for The Mandalorian Season 2, October 30th, Baby Yoda started trending on Twitter, so <laughs> it's still it's still that big of a deal that he's coming back. You know, it's like the second coming of Baby Yoda. Someone's asking if you're excited for the Lego Star Wars holiday special. <laughs> well, I, I never got into the Lego animation stuff from Star Wars. I, I hear it's very funny, but it's not 
canon, really, so I don't pay too much attention to it. I will definitely watch this new holiday special because, again, it's something that has a lot of cultural cash because people know what the holiday special is. The first one was so notorious, and it was like famously disowned by Lucasfilm and George Lucas. And now they're doing a new version with the Lego animation, and I think it should be a lot of fun. But yes, I, I'm, I'm excited for that. Are you a fan of the original Star Wars holiday special? <laughs> I mean, define fan. <laughs> I think that says it all. I had, so in college, I had never seen it before. And I went to college. Uh, my freshman year was 1998. It was before DVDs, really. DVDs were like just getting started. So it was still like the VHS era. And I went to a local comic book convention in Los Angeles at the Shrine Auditorium. It's called the Los Angeles Comic and Sci-Fi Convention. And this bootleg VHS dealer was selling a copy of <laughs> the Star Wars Holiday Special. I had never seen it. I would heard so much about it. I remember reading an article about it in the Star Wars Insider magazine. That was where I first heard about it. But it was this infamous thing that I had never seen, so I bought it. It was like $20. And my friends and I watched it. It's like almost unwatchably bad. But it does yep. have a lot of really memorable stuff in it also. It's just mostly really boring. I think that's really the crime of the Star Wars holiday special is how boring it is. And it's an hour and 45 minutes. It's a feature length thing, you know? <laughs> it's not quick. It's not over fast. Um. So for a but, while, you love, hate it, and then you just hate it. Hey, Doobie, I got a surprise for you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Truth. There's my poodle. <laughs> All right. We're here at the front gate, the main entrance of Disney California Adventure. The second happiest place on Earth. Right now, my living room is the happiest because I was proven right on the poodle. Okay. <laughs> Wow. And uh, the, the gates are still closed here at DCA, but we can, can look in. Ready to go. They got the plexiglass up. and Yeah. You can look in and check out Buena Vista Street, where I live in Burbank. I live on Buena Vista Street, the real one. And this is the fake one, but it's still cool. And that's uh, Hyperion Bridge, the Glendale Hyperion Bridge used to be the Golden Gate Bridge, if I'm it not mistaken. Did. I remember a motorcycle guy jumping over it to kick off the X Games experience. <laughs> but uh, I miss oh, I miss going in the park so much. I can't wait for that announcement. And I can't wait to come here. I think I'm going to cry. I may cry yeah. when I go it in the park. It must be a little painful to be this close, literally standing <laughs> at the gate. <laughs> well, you know, I had some time to kill earlier, and I sat, I just sat, like, over here on that <laughs> shaded bench area and I just like absorbed the atmosphere and the music and I just enjoyed being here and kind of pretending like I was well I was adjacent to the parks but pretending like things were back to normal and you could just come and go in the parks as you please that I really I'm really looking forward to that happening it's gonna be quite an event Huge event when it opens here, even more so than Florida, I think, because yeah. of the local space, like you talked about. Yeah, and and beyond that, it's the it's the first one, you know, as the original, the original Disney theme park. It it hadn't been closed this long ever, right? I think only a few times in history since it opened. Yeah, it, it used to be, it used to be closed every Monday, Tuesday, but since then, like nine eleven, it closed. I mean, nine eleven, it didn't open, and I'm sure there were a couple other incidents, but nothing like this. Nothing at all. Right. And we're coming up here on the Main Street Station. I'm, I'm so curious why they let you get right up to the gate at DCA but keep you so far away at Disneyland. I guess so you don't throw eggs at it or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you would do that, but... There there it is. Is. That population sign has been stuck. <laughs> 650 million elevation 138 feet is that accurate probably is i'm sure that feels about right 
That's another Lego set that I have at home. I really like that set a lot. Yeah. Uh, open, open, open. It's like the Mervyn's commercials. So last time we did this stream from this location, I looked in through the tunnel over here and I made a, a gaff. I made a mistake as I do every once in a while. <laughs> and I said that we could see the Emporium with scaffolding around it, but I was wrong. It was the town hall. Yes. No, city, uh, city hall. City hall. City hall. Yeah. yeah. But you said you're going to cry when you go in. Rebecca the fifth said, use your sipper. That would be a good place to cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's called recycling, you know. <laughs> oh, here's the Radiator Springs Racers music playing now. From cars, the movie Cars. Oh yeah, so here's where you can see in through the tunnel and see the scaffolding over there. <laughs> on I don't know that Mervin's commercial. <laughs> I don't I don't I think it does. I'm not ever so sure. Can't remember the last time I saw a commercial, Tony. So I now know this is City Hall and not the Emporium. I'm sorry. It sorry. Still has What's that? It still has scaffolding? Still yeah, holding? they're still doing work on it. So they're not, uh, I mean, I guess they could open and have the scaffolding there, but they're not going to open anytime soon, I don't think. Not tomorrow. But yeah, that's it. I, that's what I was just saying. Like, I love hanging out here in the Esplanade. Look how few people are around compared to the shopping area over there in downtown Disney. This is just so, like, serene right now. And you hey, can when yeah, when you were looking through the, sorry, when you were looking through the gate right there, were you able to see the vertical construction that started on Mickey and Minnie's Magical Runway? Oh, no, that's all the way in the back of the park. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't see the Quinjet. I can't see the Avengers uh, campus area, and I can't see Toontown from here, but we can see just barely through the park gates. That's about it. <laughs> Whew. All right. Whether to put a big... Uh, train station there, keeping you from seeing in the park. <laughs> Let's flip the camera around here and, and say our goodbyes. Oh, Mike's coming on camera. Hello. Hi, Mike. So, this was uh, an afternoon at downtown Disney District at the Disneyland Resort. What else we got to say, Doobie? What else is coming up on Laughing Place? Got to do the hype in tomorrow at all these times are Pacific time. Add accordingly. Tomorrow at 9 o'clock, we have the video premiere of Mulan, which is coming out on Friday on Disney Plus for a tiny additional charge. And then at 1 o'clock, you're going to be doing Star Wars headlines, Mike. Don't forget. Oh, wait. Then, so you mean, you mean the, prem, the premiere of our review of Mulan, right? Right. The premiere of our review is tomorrow at 9. Yeah. That's and Alex uh, Alex Reef. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> and then at one o'clock tomorrow, you're going to be doing Star Wars headlines with Benji, right? Yeah, and we got some stuff to talk about. I think between you know the Legos and the Mandalorian and and Force Fest and things, it'll be Not fun. And then uh, tomorrow evening at seven thirty p.m., LP Movie Club with the huge hit Marvel film, Fantastic Four. I watched it last night. My wife and I watched it last night. I hadn't seen it since the theater. I have a long list of pros and cons about Tim Story's Fantastic Four. And then the thing I'm really excited about on Friday at one o'clock, Mike is gonna be live from SeaWorld. First time we've been live from SeaWorld on the West Coast. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm sure you are too. I am I am excited to go back to SeaWorld. I'm very interested, interested to see what they've got going on down there. It's like, it's called like Brews and Barbecue or something. This like outdoor <laughs> event that they have. Uh -oh. Who's driving you home? <laughs> Uh, my wife and I are going down, so I, I, right. I don't drink beer. I'll drink an occasional uh, mixed drink or a wine or something, but I'm not a beer person because I, I can't have gluten, so um, beer is not for me. So what's your favorite drink in Ogos Cantina? Uh, I like the, um, let me think about that for a second. The one that comes with the Ewok mug is called the Yub Nub. That's my favorite one. So when I first went there, you had to buy the Yub Nub mug to get the drink. And I liked it so much that when I went back, 
I asked them if I could just get the drink without buying the mug since I already had the mug. And they said I had to prove that I already bought it. Are you so serious? Like, Sir, search through my phone and find a picture of me with the mug. And then they sold me the drink without the mug. You are serious? Yep. That is hilarious. Completely <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. Um, okay. Mike, is, Tony's asking about Trader Sam's. I don't know what the heck he's talking about. Do you? What's the question? I don't, I don't see it. It just, oh, it just says, what about Trader Sam's? It's not open. <laughs> oh, what's my favorite drink? <laughs> oh. I like the, uh, what do I like at Trader Sam's? The Hippopotamai Thai? No, I like the uh, Tiki, 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 Tiki rum. Wow. Um, Hardcore. Yeah, I like that one. And occasionally I'll just order a pina colada at Trader Sam. I like a good virgin pina colada. I don't do a lot of drinking. <laughs> it's, a tasty, it's a tasty drink. Yeah. Cool. Oh, you've, you've turned someone onto the Yub Nub. It's now on their list. So, great. Go. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of your time down Bye. there. Thanks for watching, everyone. This Look, it's Disneyland right behind me. I can't go in, but hopefully soon. We'll see you, see you next time. <laughs>